This is actually uh, what SpongeBob's into. I'm ready. I'm ready. Hey, Jake. Yes, Chris. Would you rather deal with your problems or do life hacks? Easy. Life hacks. Same. Yo, Jake, what? Have you ever seen this before? No, I haven't seen this before. Why the iPhone case? Why? 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 If you could spend eight cents on a balloon and then just wrap your phone in it. I do need to get a new phone case. I did take my old phone case off because it was really weird and clunky because I have a big phone. But you know what? I'm going to do this magic trick instead. Whatever he's doing. Boom. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Phone case. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let me get my balloon. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Wow. For real? This actually does work. I'm not even kidding to you. So you the way that. radio frequency works is they can be blocked by aluminum foil or tin foil or anything like that. That's why I wear the aluminum foil head because the government's listening, you see. We got them. Anyways, so the reason why you do this is the Wi-Fi signal comes out in a circle, but if you put the uh, put the shield on it and pushes it out forward and keeps the signal going forward. My girlfriend's like, Jake, I don't believe you. Just throw away your trash. Oh my goodness gracious. It's European Mountain Dew. The worst Mountain Dew that has ever existed in all Mountain Dews. Is it like regular Mountain Dew, but with like vinegar in it? It tastes like if you took Mountain Dew and someone drank it and then swished it in their mouth and then spit it back into a bottle. Cheers, and you're like, oh, that person had bad teeth. Yeah, and they haven't brushed their teeth all week. And they also have a really dry mouth. And so it's kind of sticky now. Oy, ugh. Well, there you go. That's how you contain things. There you go. That was the hack. It looks like a little coat rack. Like, it looks like if I had a mouse and what I is wanted... this, a coat rack for ants? <laughs> oh, wow, that's pretty... Whoa. This is what a music festival is like. <laughs> this is my brain. <laughs> I just get home and I turn on anime and my brain's like, we don't need to do Wait, anything else. That, that one part where it goes from chilled to not chilled, right, right, right there, that's like when, when you resonate with a song and you you get the goosebumps and you're like, oh yeah, that's that good stuff right there. Now that's when you, you walk outside and you live in a state like North Carolina where it is technically fall and you walk out and you're like, fall time for sweaters. And the weather's like, it's 98. And you're like, Ugh. First day of fall, are you in a dumpster at 90 degrees? That's what we were doing. Is that sand or is that... Uh, yeah, this guy's just got like a little plot of sand on his desk. That'd be great for if that was graham crackers. Oh. And then you melt it on the graham crackers and then you just... Oh, that looks so cool. Whoa. Wow. Uh, ice looks like jewels. Of it course. does. And when you put it in sand like that... Nature like is a bunch of crystals. Nature is beautiful. Beautiful nature. It's 98. Did you think this was gonna be a guy named Clay <laughs> making his phone stand? Hi, I'm Clay, and this is a phone stand. <laughs> I make phone stands out of what is this? I don't even know what to call that. I take all the play-doh and I put it together and make it brown. And the babysitter hates when you do that. <laughs> Cause you can't separate it, and the other kids get real mad. But brown's my favorite color, because brown's the same color as dirt. <laughs> Dirt tastes great. My name's Clay. <laughs> I'm named after dirt. <laughs> My name's Clay. I, li I, I live on dirt. I live in dirt. I eat the dirt. The dirt's in me. My name's Clay. <laughs> There's a guy named Clay who talks like that, and he's like, I don't like this episode. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy named like Clay. That's not an ac accurate representation of me at all. Mom, where's my dirt collection? <laughs> Our head out of Coca-Cola bottles. Is that what we're doing now? Hey, girl, we want to get real romantic? Hold on, let me down this Coca-Cola real quick. <laughs> I'm going to make you a shower head. And she's like, Ryan, you got to stop making things in my apartment. I don't want any of these things. Will you just turn on the lamp? Oh, you mean this junk drawer of things? Oh, man. It's a callback of like four episodes. Yeah, ago. that was the, uh, what was that lamp made out of? It was literally made out of like a like tape roll in a light bulb, like, uh, like, a, like, a, like a flashlight. Oh, he's, he's really doing it. He's, he's really doing this thing. He's really doing this. Wait, what? Wait, what? Why are you outside now? Shower indoors. <laughs> Put your clothes on. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Sir? Oh, wait. Okay. What? You get a little drip drip. Little drip. Well, you know what these are? They're Pringles! You're trying to prove you're not lazy. You're trying to really commit. How do you have lazy Pringles? They're already the laziest snack ever. You don't have to like dig in the bag for a good one. They're just all stacked right there for you. Oh, he's putting a thing in the bottom. Oh, see, this is this solved the problem that I've always talked about with Pringles. If anything, he showed a lot of initiative that made him not lazy. They're gonna get stale, and Pringles already taste like they're stale anyway. If you could get like a resealable, like like it like a like a like a sliding thing, like a you know what I mean, like on the side of the Pringle can, and, and then they could update it and make it like an automatic door. 
door and whenever you put your hand to it it just goes here are your pringles david <laughs> wow pringles knows my name <laughs> i like to think you doing these life hacks in a depressed place <laughs> really yeah. are, let's see this next one whatever <laughs> oh man wow the uh the ball went right through the sponge <laughs> Wow. What? <laughs> yep, that's what happened. This is actually uh, what SpongeBob's into. This is. <laughs> this that's, is that's how he got all of his holes. I, I, I. He's like, I'm ready. I'm ready. Hey, it's nice to see a sponge uh, getting a hole burn into it, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's satisfying. It's, uh, it's what the sponge would have wanted. I bet I, that smells weird, though. I bet it does. What's a sponge made out of? Sponge? Sponge, yeah. It's just sponge? It's just sponge. It's its own chemical. You go to the ocean and you're like, oh, I didn't need to clean my apartment with that. <laughs> I need to take that animal and just rub it on my dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a creature? <laughs> I'm man! I hope it likes spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I'm top of the food chain. This meatloaf won't get off my plate. What if we did that with other animals? Like, Is that a cheetah? Nah, that's a dish rag. Put that cheetah sound effect on me doing my dishes. Ooh, they're chains making machine. chains. Oh, I thought chain. it was a guy. Wow, I thought it was a guy named Chains, and it was like a machine that he constructed. And I was. That's because you went to college. That's and because you're, I. Yeah. You're you're a philosopher, not a realist <laughs> like me. I see chain machine. I'm like, they're gonna be making yeah. chains. True. I'm like chains. Who is this chains, and what does the machine do? Uh, have you ever wondered how chains were made? Nope, me neither. Well, now but we now we know. Is this a life hack just for making chains? I think this is more one of those satisfying <sighs> videos yeah. that's supposed to ease your tension. Yeah. Also, that why, looks like it could break. That chain's was, not completed. Why was everything in the 80s colored this color? <laughs> It's Everything like this pastel. Sea, sea foam pastel green. <laughs> and they're like, this won't go out of style. Let's just make everything this color. And then a guy in shoulder pads was like, what a great idea. <laughs> the most 80s thing to ever happen. That was an 80s bit. You're welcome. Oh, it's a little tennis ball. Oh, got to cut a little. All right, tennis ball. This is what you had coming. Did you this see what, what that knife was called? Ball. What was it called? The Fat Bags. I feel like that's kind of fat shaming, right? Yeah, I have some I have some friends that that exact same name. <laughs> that was my other nickname in college. <laughs> that was after the ramen noodle days. Yeah. <laughs> and you're gluing like three things. Is yeah. this also gonna boost your Wi-Fi router signal, Chris? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. This is now a uh do you know what it actually looked like? It looked like a wine glass for mice. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that's a wine glass. That caught you off guard, <laughs> did. didn't it? <laughs> you weren't ready for that one. <laughs> Did it, was there a magnet in there? Yeah, you glued oh, okay. a magnet to it. Oh, okay. So whenever you got to pick up all your thumbtacks that you dropped. And God knows you can't use your hands. That would just be archaic. <laughs> all right. You know what I hate? I think the only reason my wife keeps me around and I'm useful is that I can open peanut butter jars for her. Don't show her this hack. She'll leave me. <laughs> she won't need me anymore. It's the only thing I'm useful at. That and spiders. But little does she know, I don't spiders. I catch them and I release them outside. Because they're just little spider bros. They're just living their so, life. So you come in like, don't worry, honey. I got them. And I'm like, Jeremy, it's okay. Just get like get 10 feet away. <laughs> hey, it actually worked, though. I guess that's how uh, pressure works. Under heat, pressure. So like the heat expands, does it? Will we get copyrighted by Queen or Vanilla Ice? All right, stop. Ah, yummy. Coca-Cola and syringes. You know, if you go to certain places, yeah. they serve drinks out of uh, syringes, which I always thought was kind of weird. Chris, that was the doctor's office. You went to the doctor. Oh. That, that was your flu shot. Oh. You weren't supposed to drink that. <laughs> <laughs> what if somebody just, hey, right, ready for your flu shot? They're like, yeah, and they just go, hey, I won't get the flu now. <laughs> Ugh, you guys gotta make that go down better. <laughs> that tastes terrible. I can feel it moving you in my mouth. You that syringe? Coca-Cola instead. <laughs> oh, man. I literally thought they were just gonna put Coca-Cola in a syringe and drink it, and that was gonna be the hack. But uh, <laughs> they've gone leaps and bounds over what I thought was gonna happen, so kudos to them. Oh, this is... Look at this. This is neat. When you think of something, and you think of neat... You think of this. And it's got a fidget spinner in it. There's like three hacks coming together right now. Oh! Oh! oh. Cool. Remember those old 70s westerns that yeah. always had the shots that sounded like pew, blow, pew, ting, pow, pow. <laughs> And then you hear the Willem scream. 
Oh man, I love movies. All right guys, this has been an interesting episode of Life Hacks. I have no clue how much of the stuff will make it in because- I think enough. I love you guys, mean it. I'm ready.